well guys thanks for joining this small tarot my daughter all up in here trying to pick up my dicks and stuff what's wrong with this girl up Love in you, here Love you too boy shoot okay y'all i call my kids <laughs> I call my girls boys sometimes. Like, look, boy. <laughs> Thanks for joining this small tour. It's going to be a reading for uh, Taurus. Taurus, what's going on, loves? How you doing? How you doing? Okay. Um. All right. Um. Okay, Taurus. <laughs> my daughter. She, she she really trying to get out of here with my decks. <laughs> she, she she likes to read too. So <laughs> okay. She got caught. She tried it. <laughs> okay. Taurus, how you guys doing? Spirit, guys, God, heaven, angels, universe. I ask you to please bless my dear Taurians. Thank you for the message of spirit, whatever may come up for my dear Taurians. Bless their health and their wealth. Please give them strength. Spirit, please give them strength, love, guidance. I thank you for their energy, spirit. I thank you for blessing them with beautiful energy. Thank you, spirit, for blessing their homes as well. Amen. All right. Ooh. I love the smell. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Y'all, I took a good spiritual bath last night. And let me tell you. Oh, my God. This this bath salt. And then, I'm not advertising anything or promoting anything, you guys. Um, I don't have no store. No, I don't. Um, I put Tiger's Eye in there. And I put some Zodiac. It's called Zodiac Oils. Uh, Taurus calms you down, and then orange blossom. Oh, God, you guys. Let me tell you. Hey, look at this rubble deck. What the hell? This is where you've been hiding at, boy. Okay. Spirit, thank you. I found that. <laughs> God, I just love that. I didn't pay no attention to that. I just love those oils, you guys. And they felt so good. Um, thank you for joining the channel, my loves, okay? Thank you so much for your likes, shares, subscribes. I appreciate you all so very much. All right. Now, I used to do this all the time, and I stopped doing it. If you don't like cursing, please exit, okay? I, I don't know how many times I'm going to have to repeat myself. Um, I stopped repeating myself because it chilled down for a minute, but um, I'm still getting... Yeah, this is, I put parental advisory on top of my uh, intro for a reason. Ten of Wands. Ooh. So, Taurus, you got somebody in their in the feels. Somebody's feeling burdened without you here. Okay, somebody's feeling burning without you. Somebody's also a bit angry. Yeah, then we got the Six of Wands here. All right, Taurus. Well, okay. That's the you know, money. Many of you are dealing with the fire sign. Aries and Leo Sags don't have to be Taurus. Don't have to be. Okay. We got the <laughs> we got the Fool in the Reverse. Okay, the Fool in the Reverse. So right now, Taurus, we got Ten of Wands, Six of Wands, and the Fool in the Reverse. Could be dealing with the Aries Leo Sags. Honestly, that's what I'm feeling here. Is a lot of fire, but does not mean you have to be dealing with one. Somebody's mad. Somebody's a little bit, somebody's a bit pissed off as well as I'm feeling here because they look like a fool. Somebody took you for granted. Okay, yeah. Uh-huh. Many of you are like, Lauren, we already know. Uh, yeah, but this person's like, um, they're going through it. They're going through it, Taurus. Somebody's going through the shit. Let me see. You are the one. You are the one. That's what this says. Authenticity. That's why someone's upset, Taurus. Somebody's mad because you are the one. They look like a fool because they missed out on the one. That is you. Wow. So, Taurus, what I see right here right now on my table. Okay, on my table. Get that right. My table. All right. Let me get this one. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was fixing my mic. What I'm getting here, Taurus, the Ten of Wands, the Six of Wands... Somebody's burdened because you're you're come up. Somebody's burdened by it. Okay. Somebody's burdened by it. Somebody sees you as the one. Taurus. You guys are somebody. You could be a, a, an Aries Taurus cusper. Some of you may don't have to be. But what I feel here, Taurus, is that somebody here is really like burdened. They're sad because of the simple fact that they look like a fool. Not only do they look like a fool towards, towards themselves or they see it for themselves. They look like a fool to other people. Maybe you and this person had mutual friends here or whatever somebody clown somebody thought that they was doing better being with somebody else and it comes out they was doing it wasn't they're not happy there somebody's not happy in the space that they're in yeah five of swords they feel defeat look this and it says under here defeat 
sometimes I read those uh, parts, but I don't. Sometimes I don't. Um, wow. Yeah, somebody's going through some hard times because they can't. This, this person does this often. Look at all that beauty around this girl, and she still looks mad. She still looks unsatisfied. Like she's not satisfied, Taurus. You got somebody that's just like that. You got somebody that's like that. Okay, somebody's upset because you're in your power. You're standing strong. You're doing well, okay? A lot of you are just doing things different. Sometimes this person might cross your mind, Taurus. Y'all will know who this person is. Sometimes this person might cross your mind just for the simple fact they're heavy in your energy. These motherfuckers ain't gonna stop, Taurus. They ain't gonna stop, Taurus. Y'all like, same message, Lauren, and I'm saying, <laughs> okay, I'm saying... <laughs> What else we got here? Um, yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Under this, it says rewards. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody's like really, really focused on your on your goodness, Taurus. What you've done for yourself. You done came the master of masters. Okay, you done you done mastered something here. I don't think you understand how beautiful this is. Very, very, very beautiful indeed. I give it a hell yeah. Okay, Taurus. <laughs> I give it a big time hell yeah, Taurus. Beautiful. Beautiful. The Emperor. God dang. The Emperor. A lot of y'all dealing with the Aries. Or y'all a lot of a lot of your Aries Taurus Cuspers. Ooh man. Just so much power coming out here, Taurus. So many, so many people around you are sad. They're very sad about this, that you're doing so much better. I say, fuck them. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, what, I, there's nothing else. That, if somebody just feels defeated. They feel, they feel burdened because of you being independent. You being independent. You being, you, you're, you're, you're claiming your victory now. Of course, why do I feel like some of you didn't even want to, y'all didn't even want to touch this victory. Y'all didn't even want to be a part of this blessing. Not want, not not that you didn't want to be a part of it, but you were afraid to take it. Like you felt like you would be stepping on toes. No siree, Taurus. No siree, Bob. The high priestess. You are the one. Somebody, uh, Taurus. A lot of you know this person. You you know this person knows you're the one. You know this person's thinking about you. Well, this motherfucker is Taurus. You know who they are. Mm-hmm. When I say, Taurus, that somebody here sees you in new eyes, they see you in this new light, they see you as strong, and they feel like a fucking fool. I'm not even joking you. They feel very foolish. Somebody tried to play some mind games here. Somebody really tried it. With this Ten of Wands and this Five of Swords, somebody really wanted you to feel defeated. Looking out the bottom of my deck here, we got guarded. You're guarded from this person, though. They see you as the one. You are the one. Your authenticity has been around this person, I don't know how long, Taurus, and now this motherfucker sees it. They see it. They see it. Oh, wow. Taurus, this is crazy. What's this Ten of Wands spirit? What's this Ten of Wands for Taurus? Yeah, truth. The truth is making somebody um, very uncomfortable right now. The truth is making somebody feel um, they lost out. They lost out. Somebody's knowing the truth now, Taurus. And you might not care anymore. I'm getting that energy too. You might not even give two fucks. You don't care. You don't care. You're too much in your victory to give a damn. Six of Wands spirit. What's the Six of Wands spirit? Two cards just came out. Social media. Somebody's watching you on social media. Gain your victory. Okay? Somebody's watching you gain your victory. Gain your victory. Gaining your strength. They see, they see, they see you are the truth now. They're watching your social media. You guys might be getting a lot of hearts or something having to do with social media, Taurus. Whatever it is here, 
It's a victory. Whatever it is, it may not be a victory to you, Taurus, but somebody sees this as you being victorious. Like, they're like, wow. Like, they're they're mesmerized. They feel foolish. They feel foolish. Right? What's the fool in the reverse? Yeah, look at this, y'all. I can't make this shit up. Look at this. Somebody wants you to return, Taurus. They want you to return. They feel like a fool. And this person doesn't know how to actually come to you and tell you that. They want you to return, Taurus. Somebody wants you. Somebody wants you back. Somebody wants you to return back into their life. This person is feeling so foolish, Taurus, making the wrong decision or just act, you know not seeing for who you seeing you for who you are. Somebody did some shit that was coward, cowardice, coward, but, but you know spineless bullshit to you somebody did something fucked up here and now they have to face the consequences now they feel like a damn fool because they were a coward to stand up for you in the beginning this person knew who the hell you were taurus they knew who you were they knew who you were they know who you are let me let me take that back my bad they know who you are divine timing you are the one, Taurus. It took some time, but you listening to divine timing, you probably didn't think, you know, Taurus, you probably didn't think at the time that you were trying to show somebody that you were the one for them, that you could actually be somebody that would help them, somebody that would actually give them, you know, blessings in your own way. Like you try, you wanted to, a solid, you want solid, a solid foundation with someone. Okay, um, Taurus, can I just stop for a second and give a moment of silence for the 14 children that were, uh, in one teacher in the state of Texas at a school shooting, if, if I'm getting that correct? Quote me if I'm wrong, okay, okay, but I want to just do a moment of silence, okay, for those, oh my goodness, Amen. My fiance just sent me a message. I saw it on my phone here. Yes, y'all, I'm using my phone to record. Yes, but it's all good. I love it anyway. Anywho, um, wow, I'm so sorry. God, please take care of all those families that sent their children out today, Spirit. God in heaven, please, please bless those families that sent their children to school today. And they are not returning. My goodness. Bless the teacher that passed as well. If I got that right, y'all, that's what my husband, uh, my fiance, I'm just speaking into existence. My fiance just sent, I just saw it on my thing. He knows that I, I'm into, uh, that's where I'm from, is it? I am from the state of Texas. So when there's news and stuff about, he always gives me, you know, information and stuff like that. Wow. Okay, Taurus, um, <clears throat> I apologize to you all for that, but I, I had to do that moment of silence. That's, 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 this world, Taurus, it is fucked up with a capital F. I'm not joking. It is. You got people out there trying to compete with other people, you know, other people out there that got their mind not right or correct. People feel threatened and set and, and upset because someone is doing something that they, that they came up with or did something better than, and, and then you got some people out there that are not getting the help that they need mentally. And I'll be the first ones to tell you, Taurus, I do uh, have bipolar disorder. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. Um, but yeah, I do have bipolar disorder. I have um, manic episodes. I have episodes where I'll talk so damn fast that um, I won't even... It'll be an excitement. I'll just be talking and talking and talking. And then, well, somebody that I used to um, be around... Um, she would have to tell me, look, um, Lauren, and I'd be like, oh, okay. And I finally got help because I just saw, you know, I just saw a pattern in my, in my attitude. I saw a pattern in my attitude for quite some time, but you know what I didn't do? What I didn't do was I, I didn't see it sooner. I could have seen it sooner, but I chose not to. Okay, so sometimes, my dear Torians, if you see me in the mood or in the path, if, if I'm deep in to something and I keep talking, forgive me, okay? Forgive me. Um... But hell, I don't feel I don't feel bad about it. I don't. God loves me. God loves you. Everybody has. Show me one person I ain't fucked up. 
Show me one person that's actually perfect and ain't going through nothing. The difference between me and them, or them and I, is that I'm willing to say I'm willing to spill my shit. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks about me. I don't give a fuck what nobody thinks about my cursing anymore. I don't. I used to. I used to care. Especially because my mom used to view my videos and stuff. <laughs> but my mom was like, she loves, she loves everything that I do. And just her acceptance alone made me feel like, hey, I could be me. I don't have to feel like I need to be somebody else. And if you don't understand that energy, then you just don't understand it. But what I'm here to tell you is that it's okay to not be perfect. It's, it's quite all right. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you're doing, it, you know, or how stressful things may feel. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about you because I know what it's like to feel like you're suffering and, and by yourself, but you're not. There's so many people out there going through the same thing, loves. That's why I love doing what I do. But the thing is, I have a passion for it, okay? The same because I, I have bipolar. No, that, that's not it. it. I really do literally have a passion for tarot. I have a passion to help others. That's why I don't go for that no nonsense bullshit. I don't like... I'm not the kind of person that's going to sit here and tell you, well, that person cheated on you. They're there. Calm down now. They didn't mean it. I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks about my channel. I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks about who I am, how I deliver my messages. One day I'm one day I'm not as up, you know, or excited. And the other day I'm just really not cursing, saying thing. Then one day I'm just spitting all, I'm, I'm spitting like I'm spitting like a sailor. I'm cursing like a sailor. Not spitting. Do they spit? I don't, I don't know. My mom always taught me not to spit. So when I do that in front of my fiance, he's like, why did you just hide? I'm like, because I just was taught not to do that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I went from what happened in Texas to going towards what I got going on in my life. But hey, I don't mind telling anybody about it because, you know, it's, it's, it's I'm human. That's what people have to understand. And I would be, I couldn't be any more happier than to share it with my dear Torians. My dear subscribers, whoever it is that's listening, I love you. And I'm not perfect. Five of Swords Spirit, what's this Five of Swords here for Taurus? I think divine timing here, Taurus, somebody had to see who you truly were. I think you're trying to prove something to somebody so deeply. You're trying to prove something to a motherfucker that just was not gonna, they weren't gonna budge. But I think divine timing, it showed you, get away from this person. Because somebody's wanting you to return, so obviously you're not in their life. Obviously, you don't have this person in your energy. They're watching on social media and they're seeing you as the truth. And you being the truth is making them feel hard, hardship. They feel like they're burdened. They feel like they're they're being weighed down by it. And the only real, real reason why I say towards that somebody might feel that way is just for the simple fact is they fucked up. They had you and they lost you. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and make that. I'm not going to put a cherry on that. Divine timing had to show you, though, just who you are. Show you what your worth is, Taurus. Okay, let's get this five of swords spirit. What's this? What's this five of swords? What's this five of swords for Taurus spirit? What's this five of swords? Bam. Snake. Snakes. You don't have to cut your grass to know when you got snakes. That's why I ain't got no motherfucking friends now. <laughs> I got plenty of associates, but I I mean, I got the love of my lives, my subscribers, okay? My dear fiance, my family. But I don't have no people I go on uh, girl nights with. I don't do, I just don't feel comfortable doing that. Maybe it's because I'm an introvert. I don't know. I don't know. What would you call that, Taurus? I'm not sure. But I just don't like it because I don't trust motherfuckers. I don't trust nobody. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know if they want me to sit there and try to catch me up in some drama. But why I say catch up in some drama is because somebody here is a snake, Taurus. Somebody here in this Five of Swords energy and is very upset because of the truth or very burdened by your truth, your truth and you being in power. And let me tell you, you look marvelous in your truth. Let me tell you, male or female, you look flawless. And somebody's just, they can't take it. Now, um, this, uh, this snake energy here on top of the Five of Swords, somebody's willing to get, they're trying to penetrate your energy any way they possibly can. Okay? Somebody wants you to return, but what's funny about that is if somebody sees, I feel like there's a clout chaser here. I'm getting ringing in my ear. I feel like there's a clout chaser here. Somebody that just feels like, um, they may have blonde hair, may not, may have black hair, may have reddish hair. Guys, it, it doesn't matter, male or female. But I feel like the snake energy here, this came out in my, uh, collective reading this morning. The snake card, but it was in a different deck. Um... I feel like here, like, somebody is just, like, trying to, you know, I don't know, slither their way back into your life. 
divine time and had to make this person sit down and it had to make you sit down Taurus away from this person and then they they saw the light but I think what you're doing is you're being the light Taurus while they see the light you are the light do you see what I'm saying I hope that makes sense I hope that makes sense and somebody's still a snake they ain't changed nine of pentacles spirit for my dear Taurians nine of pentacles nine of pentacles Okay, we got two cards here. Long distance relationship. Taurus, y'all might be getting a long distance relationship. And somebody sees that. Uh, somebody sees you being very independent, Taurus. And they want to be in a relationship with you. Somebody wants to fall asleep with you over the phone, Taurus. Somebody wants to fall asleep with you over the phone. Somebody, and I feel it's a snake. They want to come back in and they want to, they, they want to do things different. But I just don't, I don't trust them. I don't trust this person. I'm praying for us. And then I'm praying for you. That's what came out for the Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, you got somebody that's praying for you and them to get back together. But you are praying for them. You're praying for their healing. You're praying for them to get their life together. And to, you know, not learn lessons. But to understand when they can have something good in front of them. How they need to appreciate that. And I think that's where both of you are different. Like I said, they're just seeing the light, Taurus. You are the light. That's crazy. That sounds crazy, but the snake energy, I can't get over it. Maybe there's some people around this person, okay, Taurus. Maybe there's some people around this motherfucker that's snakish as, as a motherfucker, okay? Maybe there is somebody that's just around them trying to win them to, to keep them stuck. But I feel, Taurus, I, I have to say, I feel this is somebody you've dealt with. Somebody that's just got snake energy. This could be a group of friends, Taurus, because I'm getting five. this five of swords here. It might be like a group of people. That see you standing in your truth. And they're all burdened by this. Because they what? They try to be a snake in your life. And even though they did you this way, Taurus. I think I think you're praying for them. I think they're praying for you. Is there somebody that's praying for you and them? I'm praying for us. Me and you to be together, Taurus. And then you're like, you know what? I'm praying for you. It's all good. No bad blood. But I can't keep your ass around me. You got to go. Taurus, a lot of you are probably about to get into a long distance relationship and a lot of you might be afraid of that working out, okay? Because somebody doesn't want it to work out for you also. That's what I'm feeling here. Somebody also doesn't want it to work out for you. You might have somebody in your ear, a bird, okay? Chirp. <laughs> um, telling you don't, you know, don't, no, don't do that. You know, you, long distance never work out. Taurus, it's the effort you put into it. But if you think it's a snake with this five of swords here, somebody that's burdened by you being, being in your truth, it ain't it. It ain't it. If you think that's who you're going to be in a long distance relationship with. Now, maybe that is who you're going to be in a long distance relationship with. But Taurus, be careful. Don't get bit. Don't get bit. Okay? The Emperor Spirit. What's this Emperor here? What's this Emperor energy? That's beautiful. I love that. I'm praying for us. And then it says, I'm praying for you. Intuition. You're in this Emperor energy, Taurus. <sighs> y'all, I'm getting over this cold. I just can't get over the cold, y'all. Like, what the fuck? Um, intuition. You're using your intuition about the situation, Taurus. I think some of you would really like somebody to reunite. You would both like to reunite together. But I think you already know. Somebody's also getting readings on you, Taurus, and seeing you in your emperor power. Seeing you in your truth. And that's burdening them. Okay? I'm just seeing these cards here with this lady's beautiful hands on it. Look how pretty her nails are, too. And that tattoo on her fingers. Sexy. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's got nothing to do with this, Taurus. But, um... I think you're using your intuition. I think you're using your intuition on the situation. And I think somebody's getting readings on you. And I think you know this. And if you don't know, now you know. Mm. Taurus, a lot of people um, are seeing you on social media in a connection. Some of you is long distance. Some of you it's not. And they see just how still and how... Um, independent you truly are being in this connection you're not giving anybody any type of you're not giving the snakes any any type of chance to come in and ruin this i'm also getting that heavy here because so i see this intuition in these cards and i look over here that i'm praying for us and i'm praying for you i feel like you're connecting with someone like you're probably with a new person for some of you not all for some of you you're with someone new and someone's watching at a distance, you being loving with someone else. Even though it says long distance relationship, I think somebody's watching at a distance that you're really, really in love with somebody else and how independent it's made you. Somebody liked the fact that, okay, somebody was really enjoying the fact, Taurus, that when you were around them, that you would actually have, um, 
that she would actually have, um, they had control. They had control over your kindness, over your independence. They, they didn't want you to be, they wanted you to stay in a cage, but they wanted you to be out of the, out of the cage for them only. Be careful, Taurus. I'm going to get something spirit for this high priestess. What's this high priestess here for Taurus? Oh, my girls. Party. Party. Somebody parties, Taurus, while you're using your while you using your intuition. You know somebody does a lot of excessive partying to try to get over the fact that they missed out on the one. Divine timing has shown you this. Yeah, there was a breakup here. You see this breakup? There was a breakup. Because of this, Taurus, this might have been, okay, for some of you Taurus, Tauruses out here, some of you might have broke up with somebody because of their excessive partying, okay? And divine time and show this person that you were the one the whole time. And they thought that's where the, they thought that them being around other people, being around snakes or even being a snake themselves. Now they see you standing in your truth. They see the love, the respect that you're getting on social media. Someone that you're with is praying for you, for praying for the both of you while you're praying for the person that you're with. Hope you're following Taurus. This is a general reading for Taurus. Please remember that, okay? Hit that like button while you're at it, guys. I love you, I love you, I love you. <laughs> Spirit, let's go to the return. Give me something for this return. What is this? What's going on here, Spirit? Toxic secrets. Somebody still has secrets, Taurus. Somebody that wants you to return. Remember, this is a card. These cards are clarifying the fool in the reverse. Somebody was foolish and had toxic secrets and was dealing with some other people. And then that's where that snake energy comes in right here, Taurus. Okay, that's where that snake energy comes in with that five of wands. I mean, that five of uh, five of swords here. And now somebody sees you in your truth and they're burdened by that because somebody thought that they could play you. Wow, Taurus. Damn. Yep, which ended up in a breakup. Ended up you making a proposal to, towards somebody else. Taurus, for some of you, okay? For some of you, not all of you. I feel like you're inside some connection where you're praying for each other. It's a it's a it's a different type of connection than what you were in. Cause you're dealing with someone that had toxic that was toxic and would carry secrets. Somebody that was toxic that would deal with other individuals. Now they're they're seeing you in your victory. They're seeing wow, look, Taurus has won. I, they and I don't think Taurus you see it that way. I think you've seen I made it. That's what I think you see, Taurus. I don't think this person sees it like that. I think they see, oh, look, Taurus won. I got to win back. You know, I got to try to get a leg up. I don't know why, Taurus, I feel that energy. I'm feeling all different types of energy with this reading. Spirit, give me something with this intuition card. Regret. Somebody regrets screwing over the emperor. Man, Taurus. You use your intuition. I think you know this. I think you know that now you're actually in your most powerful part of your life to where you're standing for yourself. You're making your own decisions. You're standing at attention. You're standing your ground. And there are some people around you, Taurus, that are snakes like a motherfucker. And they are watching. They're watching you get love, respect, admired. Maybe at your job, Taurus, you're being respected beyond your <laughs> beyond your own dreams. I could just feel some energy here, Taurus, where you're probably being respected more than you're more than what you were when you were around some snake ass individuals. Maybe you're in a new connection. Maybe your life is starting over. You're starting a fresh new thing for yourself. And someone here is in deep regret. They're not taking care of themselves, Taurus. They're not taking care of their home. They're not doing it. They're not. They're not. They're not taking care of themselves. They're partying quite excessively while you're sitting here in your high priestess energy, not saying a damn thing. Somebody wants to show it off all over the place that, they, that they're partying. They want you to be jealous of their partying, whatever the fuck it is. But divine timing has shown somebody how to be humble, Taurus. Somebody's learning that energy. Somebody's learning that. Spirit, give me something for this party. Let me see what this party is about. Spirit, what's this party about? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Taurus, you've changed. You've changed. So now that's got somebody here partying excessively. You've changed. You're not asking nobody where they at, who they with, what they're doing. It's it's like it's over. It's a done deal. 
divine intervention at the bottom of this deck, Taurus. Divine intervention at the bottom of this deck. And this is a blended deck right here. This is a blended deck. Sometimes I blend decks, sometimes I don't. But damn, Taurus. In the midst of all this partying, someone notices that you have made some big changes. So they could be like around a bunch of people. Why do I hear a bunch of people in a room and they're having a good time and they're making themselves feel like they're having a great time, but they have those pauses where they're like, I miss Taurus. I really wish I was grounded. I wish I was doing what Taurus was doing. Taurus, because you're standing in your truth. You're standing in your absolute power and someone doesn't like it. Someone doesn't like it because it's making them feel burdened. It's making them feel like a fool for holding on to so many damn secrets. Probably whispering, text messaging other people about you or, or dealing with third parties or whatever. Now they're looking stupid because they want you to return. In your arms, they feel safe. When they're embracing you, they feel safe. But they're not safe right now, Taurus. They don't feel safe right now. They feel foolish. They feel like they're like they were tricked. But they did this to themselves, Taurus. Somebody put themselves in this position. They can blame everybody in the world all they want to. But their snake-ass intentions got them into the damn pond, they sells. Okay? And now they're in the Five of Swords energy. Mad, upset. While well, they probably see you in another connection. Or it was probably somebody that you were in a long-distance relationship from that you collected your um, your rewards. Your Nine of Pentacles. Your, your independence. You got out of this long distance relationship. Maybe somebody pretended like they were sleeping at night towards which you were get, hanging up with you over the phone and they were actually doing other things. Oh, I fell asleep and I don't know. But I know that Taurus, you might be in something now or coming. something's coming towards you, Taurus, where it's a, I'm praying for us and I'm praying for you. I think this is going to be you and somebody else's energy. I don't feel like it's somebody that, that, you, that again, they, they toxic. Now they're seeing you are the one. Your, authentic, your authenticity is not to be, it can't be matched. It can't be matched. And it's sad they had to see this from a distance. They had to see it on social media. That you made some beautiful changes, Taurus. You turn into that beautiful butterfly. You turn into that beautiful butterfly and they don't know what to do about it. Taurus, they're lost. They're lost. They don't know what to do about it. Let me get some timing here, Taurus. Let's get some timing here, spirit. Oh. <laughs> I'm okay, guys. Okay, I'm getting at the end of this sickness. Taurus, this is the first thing that flipped over. Not in this lifetime. I'm not clarifying Pacific cards. I'm having to allow things to come. Allow things to come, Taurus. If you're waiting for something, allow things to come and stand still. Not in this lifetime, allow things to come and stand still. So Taurus, I think that if there's some of you out there that are looking for love, okay? Some of you out there ain't looking for a motherfucking thing. You just stand in your power. Well, guess what? Um, it's going to find you. Things will come because you're going to be allowing them to. But there's somebody that's in your energy, okay, that's watching you from afar, being respected. And now they want to snake their way back into your life. And they party excessively because of the changes you made. And they see, you know, you stand in your power. They're in such full of regret. They're getting readings on you. Somebody's getting readings on you, Taurus, for some of you, okay? But um, eventually, whoever they're whoever's giving them readings or whatever the fuck it is, it's not in this lifetime. This person's going to wait forever. Okay, I think somebody had a chance and they blew it out the water. What's at the bottom of this deck, Spirit? At night. Somebody probably thinks about you at night, Taurus. Not the right time. Somebody wants to come come through, but look, they open this door. It's not this there's a brick wall there. Not the right time. Something here was made to happen. Something was destined to happen. I love you, Taurus, with all my heart, guys. Thank you so much for joining the channel. I love you guys. Thanks for hearing me out today, okay, guys? I know I was kind of in the little, 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 but it's all good. This is me, just small Tarot, Lauren. My personal readings are open at the time, so, um, at this time. So, um, hit me up, you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for the love, the likes, shares, subscribes, and continue to take good care of yourselves, Taurus, okay? You're doing well. Beautiful energy here. All right, talk to you guys later. Mwah. Take care, Taurus. Bye-bye.